Welcome Aquarius. We're going to be looking at what it is that you need guidance with right now using the Grace cards, Nature's Whispers Oracle cards and Osho Zen, sorry, Osho Zen Tarot. Okay, so um, if these messages don't resonate for you, please check out your other placements of your birth chart and maybe that will be something for you there. And um, whenever you see this video is the right time for you. So let's get stuck into it, shall we? Okay, so three cards for Aquarius, please. One, two, three. Just like that, Aquarius. No mucking around today. Alrighty, so we have soul. Practice good soul care. The quality of our outer life is always dependent on the quality of care we give to our soul. That's just it, Aquarius. No matter what is going on for you, you can always be loving and gentle to yourself, right? Always. Okay, so we have silence. Be still. A daily practice of silence bears gifts. A heightened sensitivity to beauty, deep inner peace, and a profound feeling of connectedness to all living things. Wow, this is really quite a deep reading, I feel. Okay, and pray. I am open and receptive to the power of grace in my life now. I ask to be shown clear examples of how this energy is operating in my life. So that's the prayer that you want to repeat and ask. Yeah, I love it. I love it already. Like, I just love the whole thing. So let's start with soul for you here, Aquarius. Two cards for soul for Aquarius, please. One, just like that, man. Wow. These messages are coming through loud and clear. Breakthrough. Yes right when you when you really reflect on what is going on on the outside of you you're going to have a breakthrough as to what is going on on the inside of you okay it's going to be very very clear and it will be shown to you okay so two cards for breakthrough for Aquarius please One flipped over, and I think I'm meant to take that, to be honest, because the great these are coming out. We're on fire. Hang on, where is it, though? This is the million-dollar question. We've got comfort. That's the first card. Did it flip over, or did it do a... I know, here we go. Comfort. Yep. Oh, this is the wrong cards. I'm going to take them. I did that with... Leo as well, I used the wrong cards for something and it was perfect, so I'm just going to do them anyway. Comfort. Okay, lean back into the arms of grace. Let go and let God. Funnily enough, this is exactly the title of the reading for Leo too. So if you're connected with a Leo, you might want to go and have a look at their video or if there's Leo in your birth chart, go and have a look. Wow. Anyway, Aquarius, yes, lean back into the arms of grace. And if you can see here, look at her leaning back, right? Letting this transformation take place, allowing that to happen. Okay, so the next card, oh, that's comfort. And the next card we have here is relax, breathe. Everything is happening exactly as it should be. Interesting, very interesting. Okay. This is the next card. Shift your energy and let's get the right deck of cards here. Okay, so I'm just going to put these over here. Right, so shift your energy. Two cards for Aquarius for shift your energy here. Get out in the air, I feel like, you know, and breathe. Because this one here is blowing. Blowing on the landscape as, as to clear the energy. And we've got breathe here. And I feel like you need to get out in the fresh air for a start, right? Practice good soul here. Okay, so two cards for shift your energy. The source. Go, yes, connect with source. Right, this is also 
this passion within you, the source of who you truly are. You know, when we when we're passionate about something, when there's something that is our passion, it's because it is innately us. Okay, there's this. Yeah, the, you know, it's like it's like the fire igniting the fire within the soul, right? And when you take care of yourself, that's what happens. Okay, and ripeness. Yeah, see, there's actually something Aquarius that's done. It's done and dusted, and I kind of feel like I want to say try not to hang on to things for too long because, um, you know, it's like having the fruit fall from, from the tree. It's ready. It's ready to fall. So if something has fallen, allow it to fall. The other thing is this is about you being ready, you being ready for this new beginning, this passionate new beginning in whatever that is in your life, okay? So please, don't hold back, all right? Um, because part of this soul care is allowing yourself to go forth with things that you are passionate about, okay? So next card here is silence. Two cards for silence for Aquarius, please. Just so funny because I feel like I've just said Sagittarius. Sagittarius has been playing on my mind. So maybe you're connected to a Sagittarius. But don't worry, I'll confuse the cards with, with your energy. No doubt about that. Um, but yeah, interesting. Anyway, be still. A daily practice of silence bears gifts. A heightened sensitivity to beauty, deep inner peace, and a profound feeling of connectedness to all living things you know and this may if you don't know what it is that you you're passionate about or whatever that may help to bring that through you know it may just pop into your head in that those moments of silence so two cards what is it called silence two cards for silence for aquarius please Interesting, after them all flipping out so quickly, now, there it is, nice, nice, okay, they just had to find the right cards, cards. bountiful harvest, yeah, bountiful harvest, right, it's going to keep coming, right, when you be still, and go within okay that's going to create an entire world that's going to keep on giving positively right now look at this nothingness at the at the bottom of the deck here going into that space okay so two cards for bountiful harvest for aquarius please mm. one more card for bountiful harvest for aquarius like that's the one that one didn't come out okay so yeah see this is the thing this is here to be had this is here to be had for you but what's happening here is the suppression right this this caging in okay um and and it's really um this this silence here is going to allow you to release yourself from this because this here is so um ticking over Aquarius which I'm sure comes up for you quite a lot and the the creativity within you that needs to come out is not being allowed to come out because of this it can't come out it can't escape and I feel like for some of you you feel like you want to escape your life because the passion that resides within you can't come out with this energy right so it's sort of like when we stand in our own way and we hold ourselves back. This is what is happening here, I feel. Okay, this is celebrate differences here. And I like this. I like this with silence because it's sort of celebrating the difference of the noise and the silence. Comparing the two and going, wow. Because the noise can have valuable things there. 
but they can't be heard unless you're in the silence. Two cards to celebrate differences for Aquarius, please. Two cards here. Thank you. The burden. Release the burden. Release the burden so the master can come forth. The master is the truth of who you are. This is mastering yourself. Not carrying all this stuff around here that no longer serves you. This is you going in the direction that you're meant to go in, not someone else's direction. Not where people tell you to go. This is your direction here. Aquarius, okay. Yours. Okay, pray. I'm like, we're 10 minutes and it's like, this is the last one. Like, what the heck? Aquarius, you're just like bang on with the messages today. That's okay. Pray. Remember the prayer. I am open and receptive to the power of grace in my life now. I ask to be shown clear examples of how this energy is operating in my life. I'm going to try and remember to put that in the comments of this video. Okay, for you, which I can only do once it's published. So, yeah, if not, if someone could put it in there for me, that would be fantastic for people to copy and paste. I would be most grateful for that, but I'll try to remember. Okay, so two cards for Prey, for Aquarius, please. Two cards. One, two. Wow. Clear out the old. Yes. Yes. And the thing is that, you know, being open um, and receptive, it's sort of like you have to clear out the old in order for new things to come in, right? Opening up, opening your heart, okay? Um, so that you can see with your heart. You see, this person is blindfolded here. They can't see the direction they're going in, but they can feel it, right? Your heart will lead the way because you have this ancient... Um, this ancient knowledge that is ready to come through. But right now, it's sort of like you may know it's there, but it's not able to come through. So this, doing these good soul care, right? Being still and praying is going to allow that to come through. Okay, because you're clearing the pathway, which only you can do. Okay, so yeah, two cards for clear out the old for Aquarius. Oh. There you go. Okay, so we have trust and we have the outsider. Yeah, see? <sighs> trusting. Trusting that you, your heart knows the way to go. Trusting that you have the ability to unlock the gate in order to proceed forward. Giving yourself permission to do that. Yeah, and I feel like this is also what I was saying before about the ancient wisdom, unlocking it, because this is a keyhole, this is the keyhole, right, trusting is the key, yeah, being still, praying, good soul care, these are all the keys to unlock the gate, to allow this ancient wisdom through Aquarius, because it is there. This is what is stopping it. Okay. High ground. That is going to take you to high ground. This is also like seeing things from another perspective, right? How can you blossom? How can you bloom? You know, really, really taking yourself to heights. Allowing yourself to reach the heights. Because some of you hold yourself back from reaching those heights. Because, you, because of this. This here tells you, oh, you couldn't do that. Who do you think you are? All that kind of stuff, right? You can't do that because of this. You can't do that because of that. You can. You can. You just say, I can. I must. 
I will, right? Because remember, to say, I am open and receptive to the power of grace in my life now. I ask to be shown clear examples of how this energy is operating in my life. You will be shown. You will. Okay, two cards for higher ground. For Aquarius, please. Okay. Compromise. Let go of the stubbornness. Okay. You. This is you. These two are you. Getting in your own way. Trying to fit through a doorway at the same time and not stepping back to allow, allow the other one through and it both get stuck. That's always how I see these guys. Often, more often than not, is how I see these guys. Okay, here's the nothingness card again. Right? Allowing yourself to re receive. Allowing yourself to paint whatever it is you want on this brand new canvas this is also going into the stillness here and the no thingness is the everythingness and last but not least we have healing see the heart here healing this is where the healing comes in being still good soul care Praying, going into the nothingness, allowing, because the, because you are from the divine. The divine knows what it needs to do to heal. You know what you need to heal. You know this. Your soul knows it. Okay, so go with that. All right, get out into the fresh air. Get out into nature, okay? Come together with those who can give you the energy that you need in order to heal, okay? Um, yeah, that's so funny. I didn't even see that jump out before, and there it was, and <laughs> just at the right time. I love it. You know, so, and it's the same for you. These people are going to come into your life at the right time. Everything's going to happen as it needs to happen. So yeah, Aquarius, there's some work to be done, but it's it's beautiful work. You know, it's soul work. And yeah, you definitely need it. Okay, Aquarius, I shall leave that with you. Take care of your beautiful self. See you. Bye-bye.